there is one worldwide famous Chinese game called Go. In this game, players place white and black stones step by step in order to capture the entire space of the game board. When much is placed, the scale of the plan becomes visible only when the resistance is already impossible. Today's situation around Russian gas in Europe is very similar to this Chinese game. Over the past 10 years, at first glance, loosely connected events took place at different points in the gas game. Back in July 2009, European Union adopted a third energy packet, which was initially presented as a purely domestic European affair. Five years later, in February 2016, the European Commission General Directorate of Energy suddenly extended it to Russian Nord Stream 2, which at that time was under construction. It says that not only internal pipelines in the EU have to obey EU laws, but also any pipelines leading to the EU. Why, you might think, because the European Union decided so. There was a feeling West was successfully moving towards its goal taking control of Russian energy exports, forcing Russia to take obligation of financing economies of, in fact, enemy countries, especially Poland and Ukraine. Playing the game of doubts about Russia's ability to fulfill its contractual obligations for supply of natural gas to Europe, Brussels forced Moscow to sign a five-year transit contract with Kiev under the take or pay scheme for pumping 225 billion cubic meters of gas through Ukrainian gas transportation system with payment of 7.2 billion for transit for a country claiming to be at war with Russia, a country whose GDP for 2021 are around 37.5 billion. After the fall of spot gas prices in Europe below $2 per billion per thermal units in the 2019-2020 season, it was sensed that Gazprom was defeated and there was no economic sense in completing Nord Stream 2. Now it's obvious it was only an illusion, as today's events in Europe show a completely different picture. A huge and unpleasant surprise for already almost victorious West was the refusal of Russian Transnational Energy Corporation to book capacities for gas transit through Poland and Ukraine for next year, which begins 1st of October of 2021. 34 billion cubic meters of gas through Yamal Europe pipeline through Poland and 40 billion cubic meters through Urengoy Pomari Ushgorod Ukraine gas transportation system remained empty. There is no one else to sell them because there are simply no other supplies existing. Of course, that doesn't mean Russia will completely abandon its roots in gas exports in Europe. Numbers mentioned above refers to extra volumes in addition to previous concluded firm trans contracts. For example, remaining unclaimed additional volume through Ukraine 9.8 billion cubic meters per day, while contractual obligations in take or pay are 109 million cubic meters per day. It means Gazprom is quite satisfied with today's contract and do not need additional sales at the moment. Also, they will teach Brussels a lesson about unpleasant consequences of attempts to scrap a well functioned mechanism for long term gas supplies. Currently, European spot gas prices have already been exceeded $400 per thousand cubic meters and continue to grow. By the beginning of August, prices can reach $480, $500 when leading consumers will still massively fill UGS facilities before our upcoming winter season. Traditional low summer prices that were here for the last 20 years this year will disappear. Thinking too much of themselves will cost Europeans progress a lot and they are no one to blame for. Besides, development of Turkish Stream and construction of pipeline across Balkans formed a transport channel with trans capacity 15.75 billion cubic meters. Of course, it does not completely cover 40 billion cubic meters that used to be pumped through Ukraine, but after commissioning of Nord Stream 2, the need of Ukrainian HTS will disappear completely. The funny thing is that even the most corrupt European bureaucrats will not be able to repeat the success forcing Russia to maintain Ukraine transit under the threat of sanctions. Otherwise, short of supply will skyrocket gas prices in Europe to an absolutely fantastic height. Well, it seems in Chinese game, Gazprom beat a Europe. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell.